Hello, it's now time for another one of my weekly DVD watches. And this week is going to be very small, so I'm going to try and do a little summary of each movie and see how that goes. The first one I watched was Kingston High. And this is supposed to be a comedy, but I didn't find it too funny. Uh, these three guys on the cover are trying to get laid, and they go to every party they can possible in their little city of Kingston. And in the end, they all do, but they don't get laid with the ones that they want. Uh, like, this guy's in love with her, with her, and in the end, he gets with her, and yeah, it's what it, it, you can tell it's very low budget, and they tried to make it like a party movie, and it didn't work. And the guy right here is the reason why I bought it, because I thought it looked like Dave Chappelle, and in reality, it's not. And it's not really a good movie. I wouldn't recommend it. It's good for, I watched it once, and I don't think I would ever again. And next movie is Arnold Schwarzenegger, Total Recall, the special edition. And this special edition has rare commentary from Arnold himself and after watching this movie it made me think that did all of it really happen or is it just a stimulation into his brain because they say it di they didn't install it yet in the movie but it makes you like a lot of foreshadowing makes you think that maybe it he was still in the chair through the whole damn thing and it's just his memory and then there's some proof that it's not and like I said it's really um, screws with your mind and but it's about Arnold playing a guy named Dennis Quaid who goes to Mars and he has to help the alien revolution uh, come forth and in the, in the end he made, uh, meets with Quaido and saves Mars which is a good, good movie and I know they did a remake of this movie and I heard that they did re write a sequel but it was never made, and I don't know why, because Arnold was supposed to be back into it and everything like that, and it was just never made. And I would have loved to see a sequel, but we got a remake, so it wasn't too bad with Colin Farrell. Next movie is Mutation, which is a cheap B-rated horror action film featuring Brian Sazwart, uh, kickbox he's a kickboxing star, and he kills the monster, well, this guy named Kay, and they do some research to him, and it makes him more powerful, and he starts mutating, and he can't be killed, and whatnot, and it takes this vaccine to kill him, and he goes back to his old hunting ground where they have, like, prisoners, girl prisoners there, and they're cleaning up this house, and trying to make it look good, and this is all happening, like, ten years later. And I don't know how they kept his body so preserved for 10 years because there was no mention of freezing the body, anything like that. It just makes it, yeah, it's not really a good movie. I feel like cheap karate effects and whatnot, it is a good movie. And I only paid, I think, a, a dollar for this movie, brand new, at Walmart, I think, four or five years ago. So, yeah. Next thing is Archie's Funhouse, the complete series. I thought this was something else when I bought it. <coughs> Sorry about that. I thought this was the actual earlier show, but this is from the 70s, I think 1976. And it focused more around little skits of each character and their teachers and everything like that. And it has all the stars from it, like Archie, Jughead, Reggie, Ver Betty and Veronica. But you don't see much of Veronica, and they made Betty look like a dumb blonde for some strange reason, like, especially with her diary entries. Um, and it was more focused towards music and everything like that, like, Sugar Sugar Music Video, I think, must have uh, shown a couple of times. We Are Family, because it was, at the time, everybody, like, it was the war, uh, like, um, they were trying to join, unite everybody, like hippies, the hippie stage and everything like that. And I didn't mind it, but like I said, I bought it because I thought it was something else, and I only paid five bucks for like this series. 
and it's a treatise set, like you got two discs of shows, and then you got the um, special features, and I really like the artwork right here. That's very cool, but besides that, it's alright, but it wasn't the best, like, if I want to watch something like that late and that, I think I would put in Scooby-Doo or Yogi Bear or something like that, but it's good for a one-time watch, and this also had TV specials, like, brought in Sabrina the Teenage Witch and everything like that, which was pretty cool, and the last movie I watched this week was The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, the actual live action movie where you have Robert De Niro playing um, the leader you got Jason Alexander playing uh, Boris and Natasha you have Rene R Russo <coughs> and they get pulled out of TV like the TV reruns by a, a company uh, a TV company and then they work on trying to get them airtime and he gets airtime on a TV and brainwashes everybody, and it's up to Rocky and Bullwinkle to save the world. Uh, Rocky at the time cannot fly because it's been so long. He was stuck in reruns since the 70s. And this little agent girl has to save them many, many times because, like I said, they lose all their powers, their knowledge, everything. And the only thing Bullwinkle worried about is going to see the president to talk about the trees cut down in our forest yeah it, it's a fun little movie I enjoyed it and I really did enjoy it I enjoyed it when I watched it years ago and I enjoyed it this week when I watched it again maybe it's it's a movie you have to watch every now and then I don't know but it's a good little watch especially for kids and everything like that I would recommend it because there's a lot of like other stars that come out into it too like John Goodman, um, a lot of good, a lot of good names are in this movie too. Well, that's my weekly DVD watches, and my collection video will probably be a little bit late getting up because I didn't get many games this week, and I might be only going out of town um, Monday or Tuesday, so it might be only up then. And I've been busy too, so that's why the video has been a little bit late. I stopped watching movies this week on Monday and I only shot the video today on Thursday so yeah that's what happened there but I'm gonna try to do a little special Halloween things like uh, um, show some Halloween games show some Halloween movies scary movies I mean so tell me what you think about that and take her easy